Dallas Love Field is home to innovative technology that's turning wind from airplanes into renewable energy. And the idea came from a surgeon and former Dallas Mavericks team doctor. Fox 4's Alex Boyer, live at Love Field with details. Sounds fascinating, Alex. Yeah, it is indeed, Clarice. You know, Love Field is seemingly the first airport in the world to use this new jet wind technology. Uh, the wind captured by giant pods is then transformed into energy that can be used all throughout this airport. And the inventor of this uh, was actually sitting on a plane when he got the idea years ago. With help from jets taking off at Dallas Love Field. These five turbines, known as pods, are generating renewable energy for use at the busy airport. Here's how it works. Jet wind is an innovative technology that converts man-made wind produced by planes into electric power for use in airport terminals. This really did start as a seventh grade science project 25 years ago. Dr. T.O. Soriel is the president and founder of Jet Wind Power Corporation. His expertise is not in engineering or business. Instead, the Dallas-based orthopedic surgeon got the idea while sitting in the window seat of a plane departing from Burbank, California. And I was looking out the window, and as the aircraft was preparing to take off, there was a lot of wind and debris, and, and I thought, wow, wouldn't it be cool if we can put something just in front of the wall and capture some of this wind. One thing led to another, and experiment after experiment after experiment. Um, we're here at Love Field. The technology is already helping to reduce reliance on the state's power grid. These do power, I believe, the equivalent around 100 homes per year. Uh, so we're ultimately going to have about 14 of those. So we're pretty excited about the amount of energy that these are creating just off of uh, jet blasts from aircraft that are using Dallas Love Field. For now, the man-made wind from jet exhaust is being converted into electricity to power two new device charging stations inside the terminal. The city's director of aviation says so far stations have charged 10,000 personal devices. As we bring more and more of these on and, and uh, they bring more energy, we'll, we'll look at new ways to, to integrate that. Allocated anywhere the airport wants to use it. Dr. Soriel says there's interest in the technology from more than a dozen airports worldwide, including DFW Airport. Right now, it, we're small. We're just starting out. And in the next four to five years, Jetwind will be introducing high-speed turbines, which the founder says will be a game changer because they can be installed at the base of the runway where there is a lot more wind, a lot more planes taking off, which means a lot more power generation.